Okay guys, so hello, welcome again to my channel. And as you requested, I'm going to do a video about the five books who have transformed my life in 2020. And I'm going to start with the book of Rich Dad Poor Dad. And yeah, it's a book that I read in January 2020. And it, the main ideas I got is that being rich and being poor it's just not about having money and not having money. It's also about a state of mind. So a rich person would ask itself how I can get this and a poor per person would say, I can't afford this. So the rich person would say, oh, how can I get the money to buy a car? And the poor person would say, oh, I can't buy that car. And yeah, that's, that's the first thing, the remarkable thing. And the other thing that was really remarkable about this book is about the idea that, um, yeah, it's about the idea that um, to, to get more money is not about having more a specific education, a specific subject like biology, mathematics, language, English, um, chemistry, whatever, law, economics. It's more about having financial education and the more financial education, the better financial decisions you are going to make, and the better, yeah, and the, and the closer you are going to get to, yeah, to get rich. <laughs> so it's more about making financial decisions better, and how to figure out how to get more money. So it's important to have financial education, is one of the keys of the books. Two persons, with the same intelligence, but one with more financial education is going to get richer than the other person. That's the main idea of the book. Okay, the next book I'm going to move to is the 12 Rules for Life. And yeah, 12 Rules for Life of Jordan Peterson. And the main idea that I've got from this book is uh, the idea that you don't have to do the thing which is supposed to be convenient or the convenient thing you need to do the meaningful and the valuable thing regardless of people criticize you or that people don't like you but i think you need to do the important valuable thing rather than the convenient supposed to be good thing and yeah i they say he says that you need to be brave you need to be masculine you need to step out for yourself and fight again again injustice because the, the really important thing is to fight against injustice even if it's in spite of like people hating you whatever you need to fight again that injustice uh to make the world a better place even if people are going to hate you are going to despise you whatever and that's the big lesson that I, I learned from this book. Of course, there are more lessons. And the more you read, the more lessons you are going to get. But this is the main idea that I got from this book. That I have really internalized in my brain. Okay, the next book I read was the Self-Liberation book. I read this book in Spanish. And it's a really short book. It's about 15 pages long. And the main idea of the book is that ideas are not reality. So ideas mm, try to describe reality, but they are not reality. So that if you stick to ideas and think that are always true, probably yeah, you are going to be wrong. You know what I mean? Like, cause, <laughs> cause the thing is like, uh, for example, like hanging people, you can say it's good in general, but like, for example, the, if you have coronavirus and you hack someone and you infect him with coronavirus, that is not going to be good. So like, Actions are not intrinsically right or wrong. It depends a lot on the circumstances. And the more, and it's important to not have fixed ideas called, because the more fixed ideas you've got, the, um, the more away from the reality you are going to be and the more you are going to suffer and the less you are going to be, um, yeah, to enjoy life because the more you are going to suffer. And that's the main idea that I get from this book which is really good because sometimes in society we think that all some things are intrinsically good, some things are intrinsically bad, but is that's not just true. Like we have things are really depends on the context 
and this is what I get from this book, which I strongly recommend you to read it. The next book is um, The Lost Gospel. This is a book about religion, about the life of Jesus from a more historical, factual point of view rather than from a religious, mystical point of view. And they talk about the life of Jesus and try to explain the parables from a more historical, social picture from the stage and try to explain more the underlying things behind the life of Jesus. Um, I really strongly recommend you to read this book. Personally, it has made me change my perspective of religion a lot, uh, in my opinion, in a positive way. So if you are kind of person interested in re religion and yeah, wanting to open your mind, I recommend you to read this book. Um, the last book that I read was The Milliner Fast Lane, which is a book about one guy who became milliner, um, and he talks about that if you want to get rich fast, um, being an employee and having a job from 9 to 5 every day is not going to make you lead to <laughs> being rich fast, and maybe you are going to get rich in the best case scenario you are 60 or 70 but you are going to be old and you are not going to have the energy and the capacities to enjoy life so the first thing is to try to become rich fast like in five years six years eight years for example and he talks about that he talks about the only way to do that is about starting your own business so you need to start your own business in order to get rich I mean, you could you could start your own business with someone, but like starting your starting your own business or share business at least, and that's the that's the key. And he talks about like investment, is only useful, uh, when you have a high quantity of money, not when you have a small initial amount of money, because like the one percent of one euro is one cent, <laughs> and one percent of ten million euros is. 100,000 euros so he talks about like you need to invest when you have made the capital but not before making the capital yeah because this, this is something that really uh, yeah I, I think really valuable to know that because before before reading that book I was about to invest in the stock market in Tesla because the the shares of Tesla were increasing in value dramatically so I was like I, I need to buy a share of Tesla because the, the, they are increasing dramatically and um, yeah but I decided not to before doing that I decided to read this book and it changed my life and that was one of the reasons why I started this channel um, of course I read more video more of course I read more books but that was that ones were the one who really make an impact on me so yeah, so that was it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I really encourage you to read the books if you, if you feel interest uh, for reading them. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe, like the video <laughs> so that you support me too and encourage me to do more videos. I'll see you guys. Bye.